Hi, this is Andrew Angel with Angel Eye. Just want to show you a real quick overview of this PayPal module I built for FileMaker. It allows you direct access to all their web service APIs, not just PayPal standard like you see a lot of times with FileMaker, but the actual full-fledged APIs that they have available. So let's load our solution file here. And this file is not meant to be pretty. It's just nothing more than a funnel, basically, between FileMaker and PayPal. And it also, when it loads, it, it loads up a bunch of custom functions for you to use within your FileMaker projects. So what you see here is just a single table with a bunch of global fields that will house all the response data that comes back from PayPal with any given API. So there are fields for every possible API that might return info. They won't all be used every time but they're always there in case they need to be used. So let's take a look in the solution file. We have a sample script for a lot of the different calls that are built in. Let's go ahead and take a look at get transaction details. We'll load that up and you'll see the first thing it does is simply I've got a little script that clears out all the global fields of that global table. I'd recommend doing that just to start with a clean slate so you don't get confused with leftover data from a previous call. The actual API call itself, in this case, I'm just setting it to a variable, calling it PayPal result. And if we look at this, you can see it's actually just a, a function, PHP X A E PayPal get transaction details. And it's already got parameters pre-filled for me. But let's take a look at what that would be like from scratch if we just go to our external functions. This is where they will all be housed after you load the functions. You can see here's a whole group of AE PayPal functions, including get transaction details. So just like any other function you'll see all we gotta do is fill in the parameters and it'll handle the rest for us. So in this case I do have a config file that has my API credentials so sandbox on or off, we'll pass that in, API username, API password, we can just build our function very easily here, signature. API subject we don't need. Any parameter that you don't need you need to leave it in place but in the, but you'll just make it an empty text value so that's what we'll do here with API subject related record ID when you're building your own projects if you're in an invoice or if you want whatever record you're in if you want to relate that back to the API logs you'll want to make sure and put that here in this case I'm just gonna leave it blank and transaction ID you can see it's already filled in above so that's how you would build one though I'm just gonna cancel back out and leave it the way it was and then we'll go ahead and run it and you'll see we actually get all the data for that transaction in real time from PayPal instantly back into FileMaker and all these global fields which of course from within the script now that they're available in the global fields could be used to populate your own tables layouts do whatever you need to do make calculations etc so it's just that easy what also lives in here we'll go to our API logs and you'll see every single call that's made the global fields of course are cleared out and updated every time but every call you ever make gets logged in the system there's a raw request the actual name value pair string that was sent to PayPal and the actual name value pair string that came back from PayPal are always logged here as well and again you can see the related record ID I didn't use it but if you would have passed one in it would populate that here so you could easily relate all these calls back to your own data I'm going to do individual videos for every one of these calls and get more in depth on it, but for now this was just an introduction and that will cover it.